Yeah. Jim Duggan. Oh! There you go. Crikey, that woke me up. Yes, Jim <laughs> is... Uh, I was with Jim in Louisiana, and uh, sad situation. You know, he, he, he met his wife, Deborah, and uh, she was so good for him. She... She helped Jim out a lot too in his personal life. Jim was high strung. I first went to, uh, and and I, I want to tell you this: it's a little bit of story. So our first night into Louisiana, uh, we did TV and Shreveport. So we go to the bar, and they go to the bar, and uh, Jim Duggan's over here, and 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 Magnum TA, and all of a sudden they get into it with some fucking guys, and it's just watch. It's like watching a fucking cartoon fucking thing and a guy runs up and ain't shit and he hits magnum ta and back of the head with a tar tool right mm -hmm. and then magnum didn't even sell it he turned around and looked at him started chasing the guy dropped the tar tool now magnum's chasing him with the tar tool now his buddy all of a sudden i see a truck coming Around a hundred mile an hour, and Jim Duggan is on the hood of the son of a bitch holding this <laughs> right here, like this. All right. And all of a sudden, the guy stops, and Jim goes off the front of it and rolls. It's on his feet. Now he's chasing a truck, and the truck's in reverse going across the parking lot. Uh oh, I just dropped everything. No, don't worry. Do you hear what I'm saying? I am hearing you. Carry on. And uh, funny shit, dude. I mean, that was my. That was my first day into uh, <laughs> Mid South fucking wrestling. And I'm going, whoa, what's in store for tomorrow? <laughs> of, do you know what? Of all the uh, uh, Mid South badasses, because you know you had, I'll include Ted DiBiase in this as well. Ted DiBiase and Matt Bourne and Hercules and Doctor Death and all these guys. I mean, th th that was like a territory snake pit of just rough, tough dudes. Well, Bill Watts liked that kind of stuff. Mm. Uh, he he liked the guys that were tough, but the ones that were really tough, uh, you didn't even understand. And, and I remember George Weingroff. You remember him? He was uh, there. He was a blind wrestler. I know oh yeah. Man. He would. Oh yeah. He's the one that would crawl her ass and eat his way out. He was a tough son of a bitch. And when people come, uh, in to try out for wrestling and be stuff, you know, they would tell him, well, wrestle this guy. He gets beats on TV all the time. Oh, yeah, and they wrestle, and Georgia just beat the living dog shit out of him, you know, and then they didn't want to be wrestlers no more. And that's the reason Bill had these guys around. You know, Dr. Death, NCAA heavyweight, Oklahoma senior champion, football player, New Jersey general, pro football mm -hmm. player. You know, all these guys are just bad uh, to the bone. Uh, I've got time. I've got time telling those stories. Of course you have. Always. Okay. This is uh, Eddie Graham, you know, like uh, up in Canada, Stu Hart. You ever know Stu Hart? Mm -hmm. I got to you, little bastard. But he uh, he had uh, the dungeon up there. But in Tampa, they had a place down there that you go to. I forgot what they called it, but did, we were there they one call day. it the snake pits? Similar, yeah, I similar believe it was. Yet. Yeah. But we were there, and uh, I never forget this. Me and Robert didn't work the territory. We just went in for a shot. We we just went to the meeting anyway, you know, just to hug it in there. And we're in a meeting, and these two guys come in. One of them's, a, I want to be a wrestler, and he's got his fucking manager with him. And I'm going, holy fuck. He's come in. And see, I, it's things that you don't know, because guys always had tough guys around them. And he's wanting to wrestle somebody. And uh, Eddie Graham said, listen, all these guys are here wrestling, pro wrestler, but you see that guy back there sweeping that broom? And it was his old timer. His name was Spider Galento. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I tell you what, he's 76 years old. And if you beat him, I will let you have a match with one of these guys. If you want to say, so I didn't know. And I'm sitting there. I'm looked at Robert. I go, what the fuck, man? He, you can put spotter Glinto, that old man in the ring with this guy. So spotter comes up there and takes him a little time to get in the ring. And he gets in there and he's going, you know, and, and the guy's a smart ass. You know what I'm saying? He's got his manager and he's going, 
what do you want me to do with this guy? I don't want to hurt him. And that's why I said, come here, kid. Uh, uh, they go to do something. And the next thing I know, this fucking kid's on his goddamn belly screaming. And Spider's going, oh, I, I must have been a mistake. You must have slipped. Get back up. Then he gets back up. And Spider does something to him. And this guy shits and pisses all over himself. He's out. You know what I'm saying? And this all happened in 30 seconds. You hear me? And I go, holy fuck. You don't realize who people are until you get there. Did you ever know Danny Hodge? I know of Danny Hodge, yeah. Danny was my friend, too. And he had a little place in Tulsa. So I go to see him. This is bad motherfuckers. You hear me? Oh, yeah. Bad motherfuckers. And I walk in this Oklahoma beer joint. And I'm sitting there talking to Danny on a bar stool and this seven foot tall cowboy come walk with me. He got a hat, cowboy hat this big. And he goes, Hey, all these people over here are telling me you one of them fake wrestlers off TV. And about that time, I don't know if you know Danny Hodge. He had the the hand strength. He, you know, he was a golden glove boxer. He never lost. He was a national championship wrestler in college and all four years he never lost. And, uh, he gets right up and he goes over and he says, Oh, I'm a wrestle too. My name is Danny Hodge. And Danny grabbed his hand and this motherfucker fell straight to his knees that quick. Danny pulled him around, put the sleeper on him. And the same thing happened there in 15 seconds. This guy pissed and shit all over himself. This is a 15 seconds. And uh, he's laying in the floor and Danny looks around to his friends and says, get this piece of shit out of my bar. <laughs> they drug him out the fucking front door. Good story there. Yeah. Things that nobody ever knew about. I know we got off course, but let's go ahead. No, that's that's what this show is for. Do you know the, 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 the most badass thing that I ever heard Danny Hodge did was when he broke his own neck in the car accident and he punched, held his head with his hand and then punched uh -huh. his way out the car and then swam ashore with a broker. That's incredible. Yes. Uh, but you just don't even know some of these guys and how tough they are. Mm. And it, it, something just popped in my mind. And I know you're asking me questions, but I love sharing shit. Please. 